Hi, my name's Colin. I'm from Stockport in the UK and today I'd like you to join me in painting this watercolour. So, we'll put some water in the tray. A weak wash of Prussian blue. As it's colour I don't think we've used before. And so this side a stronger wash of Prussian blue into that Prussian blue we will put some burnt sienna just to grey it a touch more and maybe we'll just add a tiny bit to that just to grey that a touch more Prussian blue I think we'll probably take in some Yellow ochre, if you haven't got yellow ochre, uh, raw sienna will do. And if you've still got a bit of Prussian blue on the brush, it doesn't really matter. Just graze it down, it'll mix up some greens. And because we're using the Prussian blue, what we'll actually do is we'll make it up with the Prussian blue, then it all has harmony. And into that, just put some yellow. This is a cad yellow. Something to that one. As you can see with the greens, it's quite a vibrant mix. So we need to take that down a bit. So we'll use the burnt sienna just to dull it. Sienna into that. You can also use red. I think we'll make that just a little bit darker. Give us a bit of foliage. Might need a bit more, I think, in that one. Such a strong, powerful colour. Prussian blue, very strong, very powerful. But I really want a lighter green there. Dull it down. All these are artist quality paints. We'll have some Naples yellow. Like a bit of green mixed in with it. I also need some lemon yellow. Some Prussian blue. Careful not to watch that Prussian blue. And into this one, we'll put some cadmium red. nice and dark. We'll adjust this colour as we go. And that actually will be the main colours we'll be using. Just a quick wash at the bottom of the hill with the yellow ochre. It just adds a bit of colour. A little bit into the water. To that, looking for the weak wash of Prussian blue. Just a tight, a slight touch of a hair there. A burnt sienna. Same time, just add it to your water around the bridge. It's just to colour your paper, get a nice drift. And the only thing I'll be cutting out of the video will be the drying time, which I'll do with a hairdryer because it does tend to annoy some people. Now with a stronger mix of the Prussian Blue and a 
burnt sienna. We can add some nice clouds. Also while you're in there, strengthen up the bottom. Try and keep it clear of the castle. With a mix of Naples yellow. Same on this side. And this really is your main washes. Let's then we'll say we will adjust it to add some stronger paint. Just to strengthen it up in areas. Oh that gives it a darker flavour. Tap some across. Bring some here. Be quick. Just to darken it. Any run backs, just take it out with your brush. Take out some of the tops just to show a little interest in the clouds. Kitchen towel, don't use loo roll, it tends to leave bits and you can't get them out and it makes a mess of your painting. Once your paper's dry, what we're going to do is just re wet the back hill. There is more interest in these back hills than I'm showing on this painting today because it's the castle which is going to be the main feature I don't want anything to compete with that ocean blue and the cadmium yellow drop it in on the top and just allow it to drift down just to help it for speed some burnt sienna just to suggest Heather, soften the edges off to this hill, use a bigger brush, same again, down to the house, gently around the back, mix of the green, pull this down over here. Is the Prussian blue and the cadmium red, and you can add shape. Take your brush, soften some in. Soften the edges off on the bottom. Same thing here. Across to this one, more or less the same thing, just re wet the hill, mix in Naples yellow because I want to change the colour and I'm mixing this on the paper to bring the strength. Now, on these hills here, there is a bit of greenery, bring it down under the arches, under the bridge. greens just dot this in we'll stipple the rest in after this is just to add a little bit of extra colour this one soften off around here we'll just dry this edge here so we can finish the last hill this green stronger mix cadmium red Prussian blue add your cadmium red stroke it in to add heather Just add a little bit more colour to your painting. We come to the castle grounds. This is the ground here. We'll just put a 
quick coat of yellow ochre. Drop some burnt sienna in it in places just to change the flavour. And we'll be doing more to that later. Just take some red out there. Down. Soften the edges and allow that to dry. So that's dry a bit. We've come back to this hill and with my stipple brush. Just stipple in some foliage. This is a mixture of the Prussian blue. And the cadmium yellow. Add the tree in. Now that this area is dried off a bit, we can just add in some tree trunks and branches to these trees. There's just a few mast trees on this side. A mixture of the Prussian blue, cadmium yellow, cadmium red. Just test it first. You can add foliage. I do. It's just an indication. With your mixture of the Prussian blue, cadmium red, the dry brush technique, so you're just taking the excess paint off, just touch the paper, and you can add some shape and form to your hills. Soften some of these off with a damp brush and move the paint. They pull that across. Do the same to this part here. That's just a little bit too wet. Same again with a dry brush. Take it across the bottom. Soften off once again any of your hard edges. Just along the shoreline. Okay. Softening off. Just gently move the paint around. And I think that should be enough. Now I've come to paint the castle. So we'll keep this all nice and juicy. Rewet your castle area and the surrounding buildings. Don't put any on the roof, that's going to be a different colour. I'd like to drop some Naples yellow, leaving some light and dark areas. So that it's not all one big block colour. There's a mixture of lemon yellow and yellow ochre. I'm just going to create some bright patches. Some into the bridge. The brush. Once again, softening off. Dropping in some of the hillside colour. Just to add the interest, the shady side, it'll just help to bring the bridge out, on the shaded side, burnt umber, got a touch of ultramarine, just point the buildings, just add in a bit of shadow. 
just to separate it from the hill, so into the wall. I think it might brickwork. Here, yeah, concrete jetty. And then we can allow that to dry. And we come to the roof of the castle. So I'm just going to add some water to this and just gently leave a gap around that pinnacle roof there. A bluey, slaty grey colour and we're going to add it in the top. And I really want this to be a, a strong outline. Soften it down with some water. Then again, strong top line just to make your building stand out against the background hillsides. A bit of shadow side on the chimney pots. Okay, yeah. Prussian blue and cadmium red. Large chimney. A little bit. Round turret that you can't see there in deep shadow, so we just give the indication that there's buildings at the back underneath the eave, not have a shadow. The same, just pull that down, come to the bridge. Don't make a solid line. And into that, we can add some stonework. Obviously, dark in here, you can't see through it. So just gently fill that in. Soften it. of some brickwork sorry to say that the uh, batteries in my camera ran out so we had a little break well I just charged it up so what I'm just going to do now is re-wet the water area some clean water this is the mixture of Prussian blue and burnt sienna and I've laid it flat because I just want to have a little bit of control over it. This is a darker mix for the deep dark parts of the lock. This will really intensify your eye. to the castle. Okay. Just like to throw a little bit of green in just to change it up a little tiny bit. Sort of the green of the hills. Now there won't be many reflections from the hills because the sun is forward of the castle and shining on the front so there might only just be a hint. So we'll put that in. Just a little. Uh, okay. Round about there. Allowing that just to drift in. tiny bit of red to mimic the heather we can 
just start to bring reflection to the building. And gently pulling this up and in. Some reflections there of the bridge. Obviously, underneath the bridge, the dark reflections. Some nice dark along the shoreline. Naples yellow. Tiny touch of shoreline reflection. Soften that edge. With that, you can allow that to dry. Just a couple of things left to do to it now. You just take an ordinary craft knife and where the shoreline meets the water, just gently expose some of the paper and it will just give you some sparkle. Especially if you play it against the dark edge. Some people like to use masking fluid across here, but I prefer the white paper to be shown uh, with the scrape. It tends to look better, but that's my own opinion. I'm going to put some water lines in here through the bridge. Make sure they're straight. Just a couple here. And if you manage to find the dark areas of colour, will have the biggest impact. One through the castle reflection. Just a little tiny one there. Again. And maybe just one through here. And all that's left to do is for you to sign it. This is Aline Dunnan Castle in Scotland. I hope you really do give this one a go. It's a beautiful little painting. I hope you've enjoyed watching. Thank you very much. And for anybody who wishes to know, so you can always join me on Facebook. Thank you very much.